Come and take a seat by the fire, my dear. I know it's freezing outside, so you probably want to warm up as fast as possible. Oh, you poor thing. Look at you. You're practically shivering. Your parents couldn't have given you some warmer clothes. Here, let me get your collar off. I can't believe them. I know they sold you as a slave and all, but did they really have to put a collar on you? It's just absurd. Some people... <laughs> this collar is harder to get off than I thought it'd be. Keyhole is so stubborn, I just want... Oh, you poor thing. You must be so uncomfortable wearing it. Unless, of course, you like it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, forgive me. I thought a little joke, maybe a little bit of humour would ease the tension a bit. There we go, see, it's off. Come on, you know I'd never do anything to you. I would never want to make you uncomfortable. You've known me since forever, right? And I've always been so good to you. That's why I had to buy you as soon as I found out your parents were selling you. If I didn't, someone else would have, and I hate to think how dreadful they would have treated you. I don't know what I'd do if anybody hurt you, but I'm still brainstorming, and I have some very illegal ideas. <laughs> free you? Well, I'd love to, but I really can't. If I free you, your parents will just try and claim you again, and then they'll just... Try and sell you again, and who knows if I'll be able to make it to your auction first. And even if I am, it'll just be an endless loop of freeing you and then buying you. We should really just cut to the chase, and for the sake of your security, I know it's a messed up society. I just, I don't make the rules. I just try to work around them in the best way I can to protect you. Besides... Even if you were truly free, you don't really have much you can do with your freedom anymore. You know, since your parents kind of did their best to ruin your life, but you don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll take care of everything for you. As your benevolent owner, I've never betrayed you before. I'm not going to start now. So... Now, how do you feel with the collar off? Is your neck better? Ah, that is rather splendid to hear. Can I call you sweetheart, perhaps? Well, I know I can, because technically I own you now. Well, not just technically. I mean, I really do own you. I've got a deed and everything, but like I said, I'm a benevolent owner. Now, can I call you sweetheart? Well then, don't mind if I do, sweetheart. <laughs> How's the fire, by the way? Did you want me to put a few more logs on it? Master? I never asked for you to call me Master, but well, I'm glad you did. I like the sound of it. It sounds... interesting. <laughs> master. And judging by the lashing I'm seeing. And the way your eyes are dilating when you're looking at me, I think you like it too. <laughs> I'm glad you're adjusting to your new role so quickly, my dear. You know, since we both seem to like it so much when you call me my master, I think you should do it again. That wasn't an order, but maybe you'd prefer it if it were. Well then... <laughs> What about this? I order you to call me master. <laughs> oh, I knew you'd be into it. Oh, my good little... Hmm. What should I call you, exactly? Servant? Do you need an emphasis? Or can I just drop the pretenses and call you what you are? My dear... Darling little minx. <laughs> I mean, that's the reality. You're my darling, but I don't want to offend my precious sweetheart. You're still irreplaceable to me. 
You're the most valuable thing in the entire world. I don't know how your parents practically just gave a treasure like you away. They sold you so cheaply, too. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard the news. All my life I've wanted you. All my life I've yearned so intensely for you. And it hurt me so deeply. And not just the thought of not having you. But also... The thought of when other people look at you and talk with you and laugh. Like they were going to take you away from me. But today, once I purchased you, all the pain went away. It's ironic. You might be my darling little servant now, but this has been really liberating for me. I don't have to worry about anything now other than taking care of you, of course. <laughs> I could never confess my feelings before, but now that they're all flowing, I... I guess it helps to own you, but don't worry, I won't abuse my position, I'll make you happy. <laughs> I want you to love me, after all, and that's not something I can take by force, it's something I have to foster by treating you right. Hey, um, your love life isn't too great, right? Should I fix that? Well, there's a lot of things I could, but <laughs> that's... Well, it just depends on you, on what you're ready for and what you're comfortable with. If you're shy or unwilling to go further, which I respect, by the way, <laughs> then maybe I could just, well, we could start with hand-holding, with a, a little bit of hugging. Um, perhaps we could just have our own little date by the fireplace, thinking innocent, wholesome little things, of course. If you're a little less shy or a little more eager which uh, there's nothing wrong with, uh, then we don't have to just stop right there. I mean, for instance, you could come to bed with me and I can make sure you stay warm and not out. I mean, with fire, obviously. <laughs> Getting you warmer clothes. And just where did your mind go? Isn't she just adorable? I've never seen anything cuter. I'd write my name on you, but I don't want to ruin perfection. Maybe I'll write it on your collar instead. Write a note saying who your owner is. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'd have to get you a more comfortable collar first, though. But you never answered my question. Should I put a little bit more love in your love life? What would you like? Wholesome. Got it. One order of wholesome coming right up. Well, what are you waiting for, cutie? What are you staring at my hands for? My eyes are up here. You said you wanted wholesome hand-holding, right? Aren't you going to hold my hand? Too shy. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. And thank you for speaking your mind. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll take it from here. Since you wanted to, I mean, I order you to hold my hand. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for being so obedient. I'm very proud of you. Darling, you're such a, a fast learner. It makes me think of all the things I should have taught you, or I should teach you. You won't be leaving me now that you're mine. I might as well take the opportunity to teach you a few things. Well, for starters, I think I'll teach you that you are very, very adorable. <laughs> and you don't give yourself enough credit for how beautiful you truly are. You are! You're the cutest of cute. I mean, bunny rabbits and beautiful birds wish that they could be as adorable as you. Well, no, I don't really look at that many animals. Well, that's to say nothing of... You, more of my experience in the outdoors, but I do find you adorable. Although, I must admit, I can never think of anybody else other than you. Especially when you're sleeping. <laughs> you make the most adorable faces when you sleep. But still, I know my stuff, and I know that you are particularly cute. The cutest. <laughs> 
Are you calling me a liar? You're one and only master. <laughs> well then, admit it. I order you to call yourself cute. See? <laughs> You're a fast learner. And I think that warrants a reward. So what would you like, beauty? I'm an indulgent master. So let me know how much you want me to spoil you. Try to keep it appropriate. <laughs> Although I could forgive you if you didn't want to. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's not really a request. I already told you you're mine, so I'm keeping you. You can't really ask me to keep you since I'm already going to keep you anyways. Nothing's going to take you away from me. I'd sooner burn the world down than that that happen. But I can see you might be unsure. So let me put your mind at ease. You're mine. For now and forever. I've gotten addicted to you, and I'll die from withdrawals if I'm without you, so you will always be mine now and forever. You're mine, you're mine, you're mine. I'll say it as many times as you need to hear it, because you are mine. As many times as it takes... If you get it in that cute little skull of yours that you're mine, you're mine, you're mine. Do you know why? Because you're mine, sweetheart. Now, is there anything else my good little proper servant wants as a reward? I thought that was already implied. You know what? No, you're right. It's good to say it out loud. Well then, let me say it explicitly. I am your boyfriend now. And also your master. But also your boyfriend. I guess that makes this kind of a date. I think I said that before holding hands by the fire. I mean, it counts. It doesn't have to be a date, but I'd like it to be one. And since you're blushing up a storm, I'm pretty sure you feel the same. Don't you? <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Precious, I can... I can read you like a cute open book. I love you. Do you understand that? Do you understand that your master loves you? Repeat after me. Master loves me. There we go. That's my good little servant. What am I to do with a servant as good as you? Well, I'm sure you have a few fantasies you've been thinking about. <laughs> But you really are so good for me. I appreciate it, but you know, I still haven't given you your reward. You just asked for things that were already implied, or things that were already going to be given to you. You don't have to hold back, you know. What's on your mind? What do you want me to give to you? I would move heaven and earth for you. I'd do anything for you. And you know I really mean anything. So if you want revenge on your parents, just let me know. It'll be fine. I'll make it look like an accident. I promise, you won't have to worry about a thing. You just have to say the word and I'll dispense justice in your place. Are you sure? Okay, I get it. I understand. But let me know if you change your mind. So then, about your reward. <laughs> oh, how daring, my darling. Got it. One cuddle session. You want me to sleep with you by the fireplace? <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. I've got the bedrolls right here. Come on, you should get some rest. You've had a long night, sweet heart. <laughs> Make sure you have some great dreams, darling. For it is now that your life truly begins. I love you, darling. Hello, everybody. My name is The Man of Culture. If you like this video... Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, consider donating as it funds the channel and everything that I do. Make sure to go check out the donation links which are in the description. 
Also, I want to give a big shout out to our loyal tier three Patreon subscribers. Yo is a new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing, sweetheart. McCode 20. McCode? I, I really hope I'm saying your name right. But if I'm not, just like message me on Patreon because uh, you can do that. Anyways, thank you. <laughs> uh, Ace Cries. Thank you, Ace. Thank you, Castiel. Thank you, Ari. You guys have always been such loyal supporters. I love you all. And uh, make sure to join me this weekend uh, where I will be playing Baldur's Gate. Um, Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> I will be streaming it on my YouTube channel the 7th and the 8th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope you all have a great day. I love you all. <laughs>